That massive cargo ship stuck in the Chesapeake Bay finally free after a month of running aground. A massive effort, crews dredging to a depth of 43 feet, removing 500 containers off of the ship to lessen the weight. ABC's Gio Benitez has more on how they dislodged it. This morning, after 35 days stuck in the Chesapeake Bay, the cargo ship Ever Forward is back on the move. In new images from the U.S. Coast Guard, the Ever Forward finally sailing again after they refloated the thousand foot ship with nearly 5,000 containers on board. It's a massive effort, crews dredging to a depth of 43 feet, removing 500 containers to lessen the weight. Five tugboats pushing and pulling, along with two pulling barges. And they were also uh, trying to take advantage of the, the full moon and the spring tide that comes with that full moon. And uh, what that means is that there's a higher than normal high tide, which would have helped float her a little bit. The Ever Forward was moving from Baltimore to Norfolk when it got stuck in the Chesapeake Bay over a month ago. Two other efforts to free it failing. And the concern for officials potentially damaging a natural oyster bar in the area in trying to free the ship. The ship is one of the largest container ships. She is three football fields long. I mean, there's a, a lot of things that could have gone much worse. The 5 million cubic feet of material removed from the bay now being used onshore to offset erosion. I think it's a really happy ending to the story. They, no one was hurt. There was no major spill and no major uh, environmental disaster. So what's next? Well, first, they're going to inspect the ship, make sure it's OK. And if it is, they'll take it to Baltimore, pick up those containers that were taken off and then go to Norfolk, where it was supposed to go over a month ago. Gio Benitez, ABC News, Annapolis, Maryland.